Hello and welcome to the BizHub 283, 363, and 423 training. Today I'd like to share with you a few features about this device, starting with our info line. With our info line, we can see from across the room how our device is processing. If we just move down here, we can see right now that there is an amber light that is solid. An amber light that is solid indicates that we are out of paper completely in that drawer. If it was blinking, we would know that we are low on paper. The blue light here indicates blue means go. That means that we can process a job. Also here, we have lights that blink whenever there's pro a job that is processing, as well as here if you see a blue light that is blinking, we know that a job is being sent. The next thing that I'd like to talk to you about is our toner. Our toner can be easily re replaced by just pulling out with the blue tab opening up this, and just removing our toner cartridge. Once you've replaced that, this clicks back into place and is easily, easily slides back. With our paper drawers, we have a one finger bowl. They're easily adjustable, up to 11 by 17. And this comes equipped here with two paper drawers of five, holding 500 each. At Konica Minolta, we do not have paper jams. We have temporary paper challenges. Should you encounter one of those, the gray areas on the device are movable, as well as the green parts. So I can easily move this and remove my paper if I have a temporary paper challenge. Another area where you may encounter a temporary paper challenge would be in this area. Just Hold the gray lever and remove your paper. We also have a bypass tray, which would equip up to 11 by 17 paper. You can unfold the gray area, and right here there is a sensor that will detect if it, what size of paper you have an 11 by 17. For those of you that have scan privileges, you will need to select the Fax Scan button. Insert your common access card into the reader. The screen will then change, indicating that you need to enter in your passcode. Once you enter in your passcode, the screen will then change and allow you to be able to scan. There's a few things in the scan settings right here on the left-hand side. You can change the simplex and duplex so I could change it from a one-sided to a two-sided or add a cover. I could also change the resolution. It automatically will scan at 200 dpi, but you could also change that up to 400 dpi. We can also, by selecting PDF, we can also change the file from a TIFF, XPS, a compact PDF, JPEG, or a compact XPS. We also have encryption as well, if you needed to encrypt a document when you were sending that. Another thing that you can change is the density. On the density levels, I can change this to a lighter or darker, if need be. And also on here, I can change this to my color as well. And I can scan in color, which is a great feature now of the BizHub series. I can also change that to full color, grayscale, or black. Another important feature on the fax scan is my document name. If I change my document name, I have a screen that I could actually enlarge and use my stylus pen to be able to add in the name of my document. By just pressing and selecting the C button on the panel, I can clear out the name to change my document name. If at any time you need to get back to the copy screen on the device, just select the public user access button and it will bring you back to your copy screen. The last thing I'd like to show you today is the PKI print driver that you will be using to print your documents. The tabs along the top are broken down into basic functions of the device. We have my tab which I'll show you in just a moment, basic, which gives you the capability of changing your paper size, zooming, your paper tray, 
In one important feature, which is your output method, you will want to always select the PKI print driver. Layout, where you can change to double-sided or booklet. Finishing capabilities, such as stapling, hole punching, and folding. Your cover mode. Stamp composition, which gives you the ability to put a watermark on your documents. And the quality, which you can change and enhance. My favorite part of this print driver is My Tab. It acts as a favorite for your commonly used features, so that each time you open your print driver, it will look the same. I have a few of my fe favorite features on here, but I'd like to show you how you can edit your tab. You just go down and select Edit My Tab, and here what I'd like to do is I like to line up the basic and layout and all the tabs below, and then what you can do is you can remove whatever you don't like, and as you can see this is on the left hand side, and now I can add in features that I use all the time by just selecting to the left, and if I wanted to move those to the right, I can go over here and move those to the left or to the right. I can also move those up in priority by moving those up to the top and then selecting OK. If there's anything that I don't want, I can easily highlight it and remove it and select OK.